Good morning, YouTube. All right, let's tackle an old school Southern classic. I think it's time to make some chicken and dumplings. We're gonna do it old school the whole way through, hand rolled dumplings and all, but the fun thing is it's just not that hard, I promise. You're gonna love it, your family will love it, they'll probably sing songs about you. <laughs> let's cook, y'all. We got a family to feed. All right, we're doing this the 100% old fashioned way. We are going to start with a whole chicken. Now, if you can't find a, a whole chicken right now, because I know the stores have been kind of weirdly stocked recently, I was kind of surprised I found this one. You absolutely, you can use um, thighs or drumsticks or chicken breast or whatever pieces you can find. This is approximately five pounds, okay? Now, first thing we're gonna do is almost nothing, but first thing we're gonna do is take his skin off we're not gonna worry about getting absolutely 100% of it, but we do want most of it. So there's a lot of fat that will render out of that skin. And we just don't want that in our finished soup. So we just kind of jump ahead, and pull most of that off of there. And then we're gonna drop it in this big silver pot and cover it with cold water. So, I'll show you that in, as soon as I get him naked. So I took off most of the skin, not all of it, but most of it. And we're just gonna cover it with cold water and then we're gonna bring it up to a simmer. Cover up. All right, here we go. Not quite a simmer, but you don't wanna let it get much more than this. You wanna let it barely simmer until that chicken is cooked through. It's gonna take about an hour and if you want to, can run a spoon across the top and get some of these proteins off. If you don't want to, don't worry. <laughs> you don't have to, there's no rules, okay? So let it simmer, just nice and easy for about an hour. There we go, hi kitty. <laughs> so about 40 minutes or so, and it's just been simmering. You don't wanna let it go any higher than that. So I'm gonna pull this out, I'm gonna let the chicken cool down a little bit and get ready to pull it off the bone. Okay. All right, so we've got our chicken set back here and it's uh, cooling off a little bit so that we can handle it. And we're gonna make some additions to the broth that's still in the pot. So we've got an onion, a couple of stalks of celery and a couple of carrots. And this is all gonna go right in here. We're gonna leave it at that slow simmer. I can get everything in the pot. There we go. Then we have a bunch of fresh thyme. Now, if you want to, you can just tie this up with a piece of cotton string. You know what? Most of the time I throw this stuff in there and don't bother tying it up. <laughs> just toss it in and then I'll pull it out later. But I'm using a good tablespoon of fresh peppercorn or uh, black peppercorns. And because I don't want to deal with pulling them out later, bay leaf, um, I'm throwing them in this little bag, which I think really super cute actually. <laughs> this is just another way of making a bouquet garni, which is a fancy way of saying a bunch of herbs. Okay, so that's gonna go right in there like that. And then I do have this bunch of parsley and I am gonna tie it up. Parsley has great flavor, so I'm keeping the stems, which also have great flavor. And that's gonna go in here and all of this with a couple teaspoons of kosher salt. All of that is just gonna simmer together until those veggies get nice and tender. So we're gonna give that a good 30 minutes. Okay, I have to work fast because Brent has discovered chicken and dumplings. And I'm very uh, And he's hungry. <laughs> all right, so we're working fast. Our veggies over here have had about half an hour. So we're gonna make our dumplings real quick. So I've got two cups of flour in my bowl here and I'm adding a teaspoon of baking powder and use half a cup of shortening. Use whatever you've got. I've got butter flavor. So, whoop, so that's what we're using. You can use regular if you want to. And you can also, um, if you wanna add herbs to this, now is the time that you would do that. And all I'm doing here 
is cutting it in, okay? So just like this. And you're gonna do this until it's very coarse. You'll see um, people say the size of peas. I, I have never seen peas this shaped, so, you know. I usually go a little farther than that. And of course, something you do wanna do, add about a teaspoon of salt. This is kosher salt, y'all. So there we go, there's that. And this is all there is to this. So you can do a couple things. Um, I have made dumplings with chicken fat. Those are stupidly good. And I have made them with butter, made them with lard. I've also made them with buttermilk and chicken broth, also good. In that drawer, one of those two drawers, uh, is my rolling pin. Will you grab that for me? Yes, I'm glad. No, in the drawer. That's not a drawer. All right, so we're gonna use buttermilk today. I'm gonna start with about two thirds of a cup. And this is where we're gonna get on in here, get right with it. We're gonna get righteous on it. This is exciting. You have to use your hands. I don't wanna hear it from anybody. <laughs> Oh my God, your hands. Yep, that's how it works. Okay, so we added our buttermilk. And we're just going to bring it, you just want it to kind of hold together, okay? I hope I didn't throw too much buttermilk in there. <laughs> Boy, that'd make me mad. Um, actually, it, who cares? You just throw in a little more flour. All right, so here's all you're doing with that you see how it's just kind of starting to stick together like that that's perfect you could probably put two or three more drops of buttermilk in there if you really wanted to it would not hurt a thing it wouldn't actually i think i'm gonna where's my hi kinsley what are you doing are you still wearing a bathing suit yes Okay, you know the camera's on. Yeah, so that's why I'm not walking into the kitchen. That's probably a good idea. All right, so I gave a little drizzle more. Brent has a new kitten. And he's acting like an idiot over <laughs> his kitten. This kitten was going to be bottle fed for the rest of its life if I had not intervened. I forced kitten weaning. Kitten should have been weaned a couple weeks ago. <laughs> But the kitten wanted a bottle, so Brent was giving it bottles. But if your kitty is biting the nipples off the bottle, chances are you can bite food. Um, cute kitten. Um, okay, so here's our dumpling dough. And it's very tender and very crumbly, which is how it should be. All right, so a little flour on the counter. And we're gonna roll this out. I guess you don't wanna see that. Give me a minute, I'll okay. be back. Got it rolled out, sorry. I <laughs> just I had nothing else to say about that. All right, now you can use just a knife if you want to. I've got a pizza cutter and you're just making strips, just like that. It does make it go pretty fast with one of these. But you don't have to. A knife works just as well. And they don't have to be perfect. Don't worry about that. Cook them long enough, they kind of fall apart. So you don't want to overcook them either. Okay, so these just drop. Here's a dumpling. Just right down in our soup. Boop. And I take about 20 minutes, okay? So here's what this looks like. Broke one. And then right in our soup pot. Okay, I'm gonna transfer the rest of those and set a timer. Okay, that's what we look like 20 minutes in. It is almost ready. So all we have to do now, this is our chicken we pulled off the bone. That goes right back in our pot. And don't forget, you've got two things in there that you need to pull out. You've got a bunch of parsley and you have your little bag. So you can either pull it out now or just, you know, whenever. 
whenever you find it. <laughs> Make a wish on it. Okay. This. Woo! There's a big fat dumpling right there. Now, if you let this keep going, hi kitty. If you let this keep going, your dumplings will begin to disintegrate. So I go ahead and pull it off the heat right now. I just found a rogue piece of parsley. My kitty is not happy that Brent's baby kitty isn't there. <laughs> and she is letting everybody know it. Okay, so here we go guys. Perfect chicken and dumplings. I'll get you a good picture of it here in a second. Those beautiful dumplings. Yes, some. <laughs> and I'm gonna get the first bite before Brent gets it. Mmm. Mmm. That's how you eat, y'all. Right there. <laughs> 